Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. I'm out on the bay again. A beautiful day. It's going to be a warm one today. Really flat, beautiful day. But the wind's going to pick up uh, towards the afternoon. So uh, hopefully it doesn't get too windy. I'm out here with a couple of buddies. I got Rich and I got Efren and my buddy Jimmy from South Korea. Hammering halibuts already. And uh, also, probably would have guessed, Chobi is going to be out here. Uh, he decided to slip in a little bit, so he's going to be out here a little bit later in the morning. So my workhorse Shimano Traveler 7 foot, seven foot uh, medium light with the Daiwa Lexa 300. Uh, 50 pound braid with the top shutting 25 pound mono, about 15, 20 feet right now. My halibur rig, I got a video, so please check it out. Got my Brian video as well. Super easy, three ingredients, and uh, keep your bait nice and perky all day. So for halibut fishing, I don't usually use a tray anchovies, I usually use the bag anchovies. But halibuts are not that picky. And uh, when you brine them, even the bag anchovies will last a long time all day. So the weather is great, but the tide is not actually too good. Uh, it's a big tide today, or I should say this whole weekend. So the bite is really slow during the big tide because uh, you know the whole bay is pretty much mud bottom and uh, with a strong current uh, the mud gets stirred up and then the water becomes really muddy and uh, very low visibility so days like today uh, is a good day to use a flasher uh, or you know get your uh, lure more closer to the bottom I'm not too optimistic today but if we uh, if we get a uh, one halibut each that would be a good day Nick fished you copy how did you know I was here I got my eyes on you at all times, buddy. Any bite? No, it's really slow out here. It's muddy today, so it's going to be a tough bite. Yeah, it was really muddy yesterday. Check up on my bait. So I like to check up on my bait every 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure they're not scratched up or tangled up on seaweed. So I got my new toy out here with me. This bad boy right here. It's a custom made gaff made by Khan Customs. Uh, he makes a custom rocks and a custom gaffs. This is uh, made out of bamboo and uh, he did a really good job. I never actually got to use it because uh, when it comes to gaffing, I don't have much experience. Only a couple of times I try to gaff fish. So I'm a little bit intimidated by gaffs, but I think I'm going to try to use it more now. Tiny little nibbles. Alright, fish on. Feels really small. Small shaker. So, I got this uh, fine mesh net. I haven't used it before, but people say landing a shaker with the fine mesh net is, is good because uh, they don't get split tail. So, I'm gonna give it a try today, see how it works. Right in there, buddy. So another reminder: you don't want to net a shaker with the you know the big mesh, and uh, the small mesh net seems to work just fine, no split tail at all. So I think this is gonna be uh, what I'm gonna do in the future carry a gaff and let's carry a small mesh net to land shakers so let's give you the measure I'm gonna say about 21 inches we 
got 20 inch fish right here. All right. The only problem with the fine mesh net is uh, your hook will get tangled up in it easily. So, but it was much easier uh, trying to land it between my legs or uh, shake it up from the side. So, so far I like it. I think this is going to be uh, my new setup for halibut. Alright, let's get uh, try to get a keeper here. Like a shaker again, little guys. All right, about the same size. There you go, about the same size. I'm really liking this net. So this is the net I use for bass fishing and also trout fishing as well. And uh, it's, got, it's a fine mesh and uh, it's just rubberized. Really good for landing. Shake the hell of it. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Mama Dolls. Who is this? I knew it was you, there he is. It's an honor to be in the water with you, bro. You on your yak? Sir, yes, sir. Awesome. I was like, who is this guy doing a perfect Mumu impression? Uh oh, fish on. Fish on. Oh, this one feels better. This one feels better. I don't know. A little better. Yeah, a little better. Hopefully it's a keeper. Oh yeah, it's running. It's a keeper. Oh yeah. Make a couple runs. But nah, it might be short. This is short. Dang it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna make my way up to the Yeah, it's a 21. Not much action after the shaker and the wind picked up, costing 25 miles per hour by 2 p.m. About two weeks ago, TLA, the Los Angeles got caught listening to K-pop music while fishing. So in an attempt to bring me down as well, TLA asked his viewers to guess what my favorite K-pop music or K-pop artist for a contest. And I was pretty sure that nobody was gonna be able to guess my K-pop artist because I spent all of my teen years in the 90s and I'm not a big fan of K-pop but I'm a huge fan of K-rock but somehow somebody did actually guess it right The answer is Soteji He does pop music but he's more known for rap, hip-hop, heavy metal, punk rock, hard rock, etc. He's really a genius who does multi-genre of music and his music are phenomenal. So congrats to Sam Lee who guessed it right. Please contact TLA through email, Instagram, Facebook, whatnot. You are the winner. And those of you who does not know what the prize is, well, you have to watch TLA's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more 
and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.